It's economic crunch time in Nigeria, and belt tightens and measures are expected. Now, President Bola Tinubu has directed the Ministry of Foreign Affairs to stop the processing of visas to government officials seeking to travel to New York for the United Nations General Assembly without proof of direct participation in the activities. According to the president's spokes presidential spokesman, Ajurari Ingilali, the move is part of efforts to reduce the cost of governance in the country. The president also affirmed that henceforth, government officials and expenditure must reflect prudence and sacrifice being made by well meaning Nigerians. Iga, there should be, who are those people meant to attend the United Nations General Assembly with Mr. President? Well, I know that the list is usually not made uh, available for the general public. But when you look at it, it's one, the president, some of his close aides who have link with international community. I mean, whose portfolio has something to do with international community. Right. You won't expect, so a, exactly, you won't expect like uh, maybe a minister of uh, agriculture or maybe a uh, ministry, minister of works and so on to be on the list, except the president has a specific reason to say, okay, I need this man to go along with me. Apart from that, you also know that many of the people who go on this kind of trips are usually not people that will even get to the venue. In 2011, I was opportune to be invited by United Nations Agency to cover the event. And I was, I was there with some other journalists. You won't believe that. The Nigerian delegation that year was very large, as usual. But majority of these people did not even get to the United Nations Center. They were busy shopping around, moving around, looking at uh, skyscraper building in New York and all that. All that at the cost or at the expense of the government. So it is a good thing that the president has done this. But I just hope that it is not just a, a let, let, let us tell them kind of thing. It must be really acted upon. Because you, you, you have a, a UN assembly where serious issues are discussed. Various um, committees are set up, and people are talking about how to make their nation better. And then you have Nigerians going there. In fact, you will be so embarrassed sometimes. Some of those, the few who will likely get to the center, you see them carrying bags, shopping bags. I mean, and you begin to wonder, what is it that these people have come to do in this place? Who allowed them to come? If they go with their own money and at their own cost and all that, it is all okay. But what happens is that it is an opportunity for people to go with their friends, their girlfriends, their whatever, and so on. Oh, okay, there is somebody you have been trying to help all this while, and this opportunity came. Say, oh, oh boy, do you have a passport? Oh, bring it, bring it. We are going to the UN, and then it becomes a UN delegation without having anything whatsoever to do at the venue. Some will, in fact, some will not even get to that center. To even see the place that, oh, okay, I was there, or I, I've taken, no, they won't get there. They will not do anything. It's either they are sleeping in their rooms or moving around New York City, gawking and looking at skyscrapers. For what? At the cost, at uh, the expense of Nigeria? So the president has done very, very well in this. But I hope it is not just for the optics. optics. Darry, some of us have covered Onga. And we know that it's always a very good time for, you know, especially the venue, New York City, is where people decide to go on tourism, do so many other things. Some governors will take their aids, pick their business. So now what Balatino is saying that, look, we must pawn this down 
and this is not an opportunity for another yet another jamboree. Yeah, well, what the president is doing has nothing to do with uh, those who want to go on sightseeing uh, to uh, New York <laughs> during the uh, uh, UN uh, event. What he's simply saying is that don't go with our money, don't go with our logistics. Mm -hmm. Beyond the money, at times like this, our forex is challenged. So, but if you want to go on your own, you source what you need on your own, the, the road is open. But it should not be the usual practice of opportunity for the boys, mm. patronage for our people. I have seen a situation whereby a speaker of a state assembly went to the uh, UNGA with as much as eight people, while he himself yeah, has nothing is directly is doing. He not suggest. <laughs> <laughs> he is not even participating in any of the sidelines. You know, yeah, of course, there are the UNGA. Yeah. The, there are sidelines. He is not. This speaker himself is not participating in any of the sideline events. Not to talk of the main events. He has no role directly, as Mr. President put it now, to to play yet. He, did, he didn't just find Himself, his own yeah. way. He went with Eight. an average. Eight. <laughs> That's one state. You hmm. find things like that happening in maybe one third of our 36 states. That's at the state level. Then you begin to look at what is happening in the presidency, what is happening at the federal government level. The ministries, you see, it's, it's, it has become some sort of culture that when we have this kind of uh, program, at least we should have 200 and something daily, uh, the member delegation, 300 and something. And we must find ways of filling the figures. So much so that, like uh, uh, we were just told, people call for passports. Do you, do you have a passport? Bring it. Let's get you a visa so that I can be part of this delegation. It is also a way so to. It people. In fact, that in fact some people pardon. just go. Let me tell you how funny this arrangement is. Some of these people in the delegation, they go. They don't collect the entitlements. Some other people pocket the yeah. entitlement. Your own is make appearance so that we can claim this money. And, and then you also want to use your passport, you want to use a visa, or you want to see, have the opportunity of sightseeing, you will go. So the moment they know that that slot is taken, somebody is some dollars richer. That, those are the kind of things. And these are... The things we had up to talk about high cost of governance in this country. Things we can actually do without. And that's why when you come from that background and you look at what Mr. President is saying, I believe very strongly that this is not for the optics. And why, you ask me why? Because he made it public. He could have issued uh, a, a, what do you, uh, a memo. A memo silently, but making it public. Asking that it should be publicized is telling you that when we have another event, this same practice will subsist. It is in the, the jamboree, we, we've done enough of it. And we can actually, Ayo, we can actually do without it. Let's have a sizable delegation of people who have business being in yeah. the United States of America at that time. And then the, 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 the handlers of the delegation will be able to pin everybody down one event or the other. So uh, we have heard that people will get in there, and all they do is to go shopping. And they'll be checking the day and time when it's time to go back to Nigeria. And then everybody's back home again at the expense of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. And then we begin to ask individuals and the team, what have we achieved? At what cost? What would we spend? So, is it everybody that has to talk to the investors? <laughs> I, I, so you mean all of us must leave this country to go and talk to investors before they Some can Some of come? the delegates will not even know, know an investor when he's sitting <laughs> with them. When, <laughs> you, that, that's how bad it gets. But everybody will find themselves in New York, spend time, spend money, spend resources, claim dividends. Pardon mm, and in then, fact, that's the, the, the most annoying aspect of it. Yes. It is that per diem. As he said, you will have some people who are the contractors. Yes. For instance, if I'm a legitimate delegate and I bring you in, 
if the uh, per diem is, uh, is, is usually one week, if it is about, uh, let's say, I don't know how much it is, but let's say it is twenty um, $5,000 or whatever for those days, I might say, oh boy, you only get two, me, I'll take three. Uh -huh. I mean, it's free money. free money. You give me oh, free ride, free, ride, food free and enjoyment. People and will really, really agree. Up. And so, then Nigeria will be the, is, is the loser. And you stamp your visa. Exactly. Yes. And then you go sightseeing. Exactly. So I think it's a good thing that okay. the president has done. Mm. All right.